I've been running both OpenSUSE and Manjaro for months now, and honestly, the choice isn't as obvious as most people think. Let me break down what each actually brings to the table. Let's start with Manjaro. This is what happens when you take Arch Linux and make it approachable for humans. You get access to the AUR, which is basically a treasure trove of over 90,000 community packages. Want Discord? It's there. Need some obscure audio tool? Probably there too. The installation is dead simple, Everything just works out of the box, and you're rolling with cutting-edge software without the arch headaches. But here's what surprised me about Manjaro. The community acts like it's this beginner-friendly dream, but you're still dealing with a rolling release system. Things break sometimes, updates can be unpredictable, and you need to pay attention to what's happening with your system. It's not Ubuntu-level handholding. Now, OpenSUSE takes a completely different approach. This thing is built for people who want control and stability. The YAS configuration tool is probably the most comprehensive system management interface I've ever used. You can tweak literally everything through a GUI. Snapshots are built right in, so when something goes wrong, you just roll back. No drama, no reinstalling. The catch with OpenSUSE? It's definitely geared toward more experienced users. The learning curve is steeper, package availability isn't as extensive as Manjaro's AUR access, and honestly, it feels more like a workstation OS than something you'd be gaming on. Here's the real talk. If you want the latest software, love tinkering with packages, and don't mind occasional troubleshooting, Manjaro is your pick. If you need rock-solid stability, enterprise-grade features, and you're comfortable with more technical setup, OpenSUSE is the way to go. The gaming crowd tends to gravitate toward Manjaro for obvious reasons. The productivity and development folks often prefer OpenSUSE's reliability. Both are excellent, just serving different needs. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the most talked about products side by side every week. Software, finance, supplements, basically any niche you care about. Check out the latest comparison here or dive into the playlist if you're still deciding. But I'm curious, which one would you pick? Got a favorite? Drop it in the comments. I'm always curious what real users think.